Hi everyone, welcome to the 30 day declutter. I thought I would have a go at doing this. I've seen it on YouTube, I've seen it all over, uh, people doing it. I thought I would have a go, make a video and hopefully inspire you to do the same. Let me tell you how it works. On day one, you get rid of one item. On day two, you get rid of two items. On day three, you've guessed it, you get rid of three items and so on and so on and so on until day 30 and you get rid of 30 items. In the course of one month, you will have decluttered 465 items from your home. I wasn't sure if I would be able to do it because I just did a big declutter before I moved house. So I wondered whether I would even be able to find that number of things, but I did. And here is the results of my 30 day declutter. I knew exactly what I was gonna get rid of on day one. This is a little camping wind up light thing that I have had for ages. It's been on three camping trips and I have never used it. I have a light on my phone, don't we all? I don't need a wind up torch. So, bye. On day two, I found these two notebooks. I do love notebooks. I've got loads of notebooks that are really pretty and I really like to write in a notebook. Um, but I'm not a big fan of these, this plain black one or the stripy one, so uh, they can go. On day three, I found these three car bumper stickers, two Welsh flag ones and a country, Wales country code one. I have no idea how long I've had them, where I bought them, Wales presumably, um, but I don't need these, I'm not gonna put them on my car. On day four, I had a look at my books and I found these four books that I don't uh, need to keep anymore. They're ones that I've read and can pass on. And for some reason, that one by Nick Page on the end, uh, I have two of those. I don't even know why I have two. So I've kept one and one is getting passed on. Day four, four books. On day five, I found these five basket things, plastic basket storage things. I don't need them. On day six, I found these three um, what, like white plastic basket things, the kind of things you get served scampi and chips in and a really nasty pug. Wow. And then I also found this frying pan and these two cake pans, which are kind of beyond repair. They're really scuzzy, so they can go to the recycling. On day seven, I had a look in the box that I keep where I put gifts in that I bought for people, um, or I've, like bought things in the sale that I might give to somebody. And I actually found five little gift things sitting in there and two packs of labels that I don't need. So day seven, that's seven items. On day eight, I had a look through my collection of bags. You know how you get these like reusable cloth bag things from like everywhere? Wherever you go, you get like a freebie. So yeah, I decided to sort out eight of those that I didn't need anymore. Um, I have done, so day eight, eight bags, gone. Day nine is a bit of a random day. I just found all kinds of random things um, to get rid of, a screwdriver, a stapler, that Swiss pen, a army knife, a random spoon, these U staples, that, like they're for a wall stapler and I never use the U staples. I only ever use the like flat staples. So that's like a whole unused box that somebody may like. I'm passing them on to a charity shop. And then also found this crazy like manual foot pump for my airbed and my yoga ball. Um, I actually have one that plugs into the wall so I don't need one that you pump up with your foot. So day nine, nine random things sorted out. Uh, day 10 continues to be kind of random. That lamp that's still in the box I bought in a charity shop. Um, it's from Ikea originally, but I bought it in a charity shop for two pounds and I don't use it. So I've never had it out of the box. Why have I got it? So I've got a teddy bear there. I've got some, that's like a makeup storage thing behind him. Those three feet things from Ikea furniture and a first class cookie stamp. It. it can go. Day 10 and 10 random items, all done. 
On day 11, I dived into my essential oils collection and had a look at the ones that I either don't use because I don't like them very much, or ones that I have duplicates of. Sometimes you end up buying two or they come in a pack or you get given one by a friend, so you end up with sort of extra ones that you're not gonna use. So I sorted out 11 essential oils which I can pass on to other people who might use them more than I will. So day 11, 11 items. Day 12, I tackled my wardrobe. There's probably more I could get rid of here, but I don't wear that green jumper anymore. I don't like it, rides up too high. And I found this black cardigan, a silver and black dress, a skirt, some woolen trousers in army green, some another pair, a grey pair of trousers, this sweatshirt, which I wore once and I don't like, another grey sweatshirt, very similar to two others that I already have, a hat that I don't wear, a fuzzy hat that I don't wear, and two flowers for my hair that I don't wear anymore. So day 12, 12 things. On day 13, I had a look in my tech box because we all end up with extra wires and USB sticks and memory things and all kinds of random tech that we don't use. So some of these, as you can see, were free Eurovision gifts or and I ended up with like two of them or I just don't need them anymore. So 13 bits of kit sorted out on day 13. I realize not everyone is gonna have this as an option, but I've had so many like different costumes and with those costumes of calm, all kinds of wigs and hair pieces so i had a sort through and i found 14 different wigs and hair pieces and extensions and things that i really don't need anymore <laughs> i've just moved into a flat where we have uh, a tumble dryer and i have an indoor like airing thing we don't there's no space outside to dry anything so i really didn't need a huge pack of pegs anymore i have kept a few you know just in case but for the most part I don't need all the pegs that I used to have. So day 15 and 15 little pegs can go to my mum who I know wanted some more pegs. <laughs> so I'll send them to her. On day 16, I had a look at all the bits and pieces that I had made as example models for my online sewing course that I did a few months ago. These are bits and pieces that I'm not going to really use. I've kept some of the pieces that I know I will use, but the rest I'm not going to use, so I'll donate them to charity. Maybe they'll raise a little bit of money. On day 17, I had a look at my beauty, skincare and makeup collection, just to see if there was anything in there that I really wasn't using. I found all kinds of bits and pieces. Quite a lot of these are part of a subscription. Um, group that I belong to and the things that have been sent to me as part of my monthly subscription that I know I'm just not going to use ever. They're not my shade or I don't like the scent. So 17 items on day 17. On day 18 I had a look at my shoes and I found nine pairs of shoes. So that's 18 individual shoes that I haven't worn for ages, that I don't wear. I don't wear high heels really anymore. I kept some of my heels, but these more sort of fashion ones, well, that's a pair of slippers, um, are just not, I'm just not gonna wear them. Those silver ones are agony. I can't wear them anymore. On day 19, I had a look through my jewellery making supplies and I'm not counting every bead individually here because that would be thousands. Uh, but I did find like 19 packs of beads and sequins and bits and pieces and also this length of jewellery wire which I am not going to use anymore. On day 20, I had a look through my desk. I found, as you can see, more labels for Christmas. Um, I found some t-shirt transfer paper, some parcel labels, um, packs of cards and acetate uh, all kinds of things and that like little travel like suitcase weighing machine thing I've got a digital one of those now so I don't need that big clunky one anymore day 
day 21 was one of the hardest. I decided to leaf through all my promo CDs from Eurovision. So this was going to be a long, old, hard day, I knew. <laughs> so I kept some, obviously. But I did get rid of some of the ones that I have, that I have like duplicates of. Um, like this one is a duplicate. And... <laughs> And then I have some songs that I really love, like this one, uh, but I listen to it on um, like my Apple playlist. I don't, I don't ever listen to the CD, same as uh, Alina. Um, so I really don't need the CD anymore. And I'm really thankful that they gave them to me, but I just don't need them anymore. And then I also have some here that I don't really like. I'm known for not liking that. And then I also have one that I really cannot stand that song. I have no idea why I have two copies of one of the worst entries Eurovision has ever seen. I also found this uh, promotional scarf from the Netherlands in 2016 and I also found this poster which is from Naviband and I'm really thankful to have their little like commemorative plate thing which is far more useful to me than a poster. I don't really put posters on my wall so I shall pass these on to other Eurovision fans. On day 22 I had a look through my Christmas decorations of ones that I've had for ages and I just managed to find 22 Christmas decorations that just don't really fit with how I like to do my tree these days so it's probably a good time to be given Christmas decoration bits to charity shops because I'll be able to sell them on hopefully and raise a little bit of money for the charity. Merry Christmas. On day 23 I had a look through my fabrics and specifically on this day I had a look through my fat quarters which are fabrics that I used for quilting and I found 23 in fabrics that I don't really like or I'm not going to use. Yeah, that's it. On day 24, I had a dive into my filing cabinet and found 24 old things like old council tax bills and pay slips. You can see they're from like 2013. I obviously keep up to date ones, but ones from seven years ago, an old N Power electric bill, I, I don't need that. So 24 pieces of paper headed for the shredder. On day 25, I was getting a bit desperate. <laughs> so I had another look through my kitchen and other places as well and just found like 25 random things that I just am not going to use anymore. That rug was great in my old cottage but it doesn't work in this house. Those two turquoise dishes I've never used and then I also found some artificial flowers that I don't need. So they can go, there's a CD there, there's some baskets, some plastic trays, and some face gems. I started out on day 26, saying that I was gonna sort out 26 pencils. And in the end, as you can see, I really did sort out a lot more than 26 pencils. So 26 individual pencils and this sketch set from Smith's. That I've never used. I thought I would continue that theme on day 27 and when you start sorting out one pen you start sorting out hundreds of pens so day 27 is way more than 27 old pens. I still have too many pens. On day 28, I had a look through my sewing kit again, and I found 28 kind of bits of thread as well as some bobbins that go with them. And I just thought, I don't need these anymore. I've either got duplicate colors or they're colors I don't use. I mainly sew with black, white, and gray, so. On day 29, I had a look through my scrap fabrics and I found 29 pieces of fabric that are sort of random ones rather than the nice kind of pre-cut fat quarters. These, this is just 29 pieces of fabric that I'm not going to use anymore. So what I've done is bundled them all up into one and I will sell them as a job lot, hopefully 
for a few quid on eBay. And day 30, I stuck with my sewing kit and I found all manner of bits and bobs in my sewing world that I just don't use. I've got so many pairs of sewing scissors. I don't need them. I've got measuring tapes. I've got a nice measuring tape. I don't need that free one that came with a, another pack. I just don't need all this stuff. So what's happening to all this stuff, you may well ask. Well, this lot's bundled up ready to go to the charity shop and you can also see just at the side there is a bag for recycling. This is a box that I'm gonna sell those bits and pieces on eBay. You can see it's mainly the fabrics that I've bundled up ready to sell in one go. I haven't filmed the pile of stuff that I'm gonna take to get shredded and recycled and there was just a few things that are beyond repair and had to go sadly into the black bin. So I really thought it would be quite difficult to find 465 things in my house because right before I moved I did a huge declutter and got rid of things but when I started looking again I could see that there definitely was still some stuff here that I just don't need. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has inspired you to have a go at doing your own 30 day declutter. Let me know how you got on. It would be really nice to hear from you. You can find me on Instagram at lisajane underscore 77. And it'd be great to hear from you and hear how your very own 30 day declutter went.